think you get used to it. Yeah. Sorry, Chase. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's, it's okay. I didn't take it like that. Guess we're up. Get in the shower. Okay. I don't know how to use my razor. Oh, you're such a romantic, you know that? Good morning. It's 835 in Boston. The heat continues today. From Beacon Hill to Brookline, it's sizzling. Temperatures are expected to climb into the upper 90s. Good morning for you, Lynn. Because my biggest complaint with you is you never listen to what I am saying. What do you look like, Tracy? 359, holding a T1 and a T8. 359. Okay. It's tough. I get help. You all right? Man, that guy looks bad. Foxtrot out for the dispatch. I have a T8 on fifth and Vine. Please contact 911. Foxtrot Alpha, 10-4. Job's really getting to you. No, I'm just tired. You know, it's like driving through hell. There's gridlock and wrecks and dead body in the trunk. Guess the crash was too late to ruin his day. You can do a lot better than driving a tow truck. No, I just hate the city, Kel. I don't know how these things find me. They don't. You find them. I always told you you should be a cat or a cop. Going to that meeting with your boss now? Yep. I'm in the hunt for that big promotion. Looking out for my long-term goals. Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure, doctor. I'll, I'll get up there as soon as I can. Right away, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. That was about my father. Is he okay? I guess he's, uh, he's pretty sick. They want me to come right up. Oh, poor guy. I hate to be sick in a state hospital. Do you want me to go? Uh, no. No, you go on. I'll be back soon.
Dr. Wasserman? Jason? He's been asking for you. It's good you got here in time. That close? Hey, Pop. You could come, son. Me too. How you doing? Being me is a mess, Jason. I don't know what's real or what isn't. Sometimes I don't either, Pop. <coughs> oh, this is real, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So is this. Will you promise me something? I mean, just in case. Yeah, yeah, anything. When I die, will you scatter my ashes over your mother's grave for real, will you? Sure, Pop. But uh, I don't know where her grave is. She... Held on to me that day and never let me go. What day? Just scatter my ashes over her. Pop? Pop? I'm going to get the doctor, okay? I'll be back. No! Never tell that man the truth. He left this for you. It's better this way. Excuse me, doctor? Well, his particular illness. And I'm sure your bedside manner practically saved his life. It's better this way. I'm sorry if it sounds callous, but his life was a delusional nightmare. We tried everything. Analysis, drugs, shock treatments, hypnosis. You weren't treating him, you don't know. He's free now. The delusions, the nightmares, what were they? Many of them were about your mother's death. What about her death? He said it was evil and bloody, but I really don't know. He left instructions for his cremation. You can pick up his ashes any time after six. Please feel free to use my office if you like. I have rounds. I'm sorry for your loss. Sarah's death was God's will. It had to be faith. Hey. 
Jace. What's, uh, what's going on, Kel? I got the promotion. But Carberry wants me in Chicago. Can you believe it? Me in Chicago. He put me on the fast track. Well, isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, um... What happens to us? We become phone buddies? What? I was gonna leave this for you. Chase. We're over. Don't you think? I do. For months. We just wouldn't fall down. I mean, I still love you, Jason. I'm just not in love with you anymore. Take credit cards. How do you keep your gas so cheap? Are you used to them city prices? Yeah. Yeah. You know, myself, I, I never really been to a big city like uh, Boston or New York. I, I thought about moving to Boston once. I'd still like to go. If I could. That just takes going. Hey, I heard the, uh, the shops never close around there. Is that true? I heard you can buy sneaks at two in the morning. That's when you want them. Hello there. Hi. Is your float valve sticking? I just got a loose wire. It's a beautiful place you have here. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like uh, going back in time. should have stayed but thank you for my town fathers those kids are big league material hey do you have a uh, b and b or a motel around here dunbar in i think he's through there henry Dunbar Inn. It's right down on Front Street. Great. Thanks. Thanks. You thinking of staying a while? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Thanks.
is history, boys. I have a little piece of wood at home, said to come from the first platform ever built here. A hundred years before George Washington pushed that ore boat across the Delaware. That's history. That's tradition. It's crazy. Why don't we just leave it? Instead of taking it down and putting it back up year after year. Did you hear a word I said? bothering anybody. Graham, you were bothering me. Maggie, I didn't plan to break my leg. <clears throat> Just lucked out, I guess. Don't worry, I won't embarrass you in front of the town. I'll do my duty and yours, and I will hold my head high. Excuse me. Hi. I'm sorry if I'm intruding. Uh, I need a room. You do rent rooms, don't you? Well, the um, Fourth of July weekend is coming up, and we book up days in advance. Oh, yeah, I can see why. It's a, it's a beautiful place, but I mean, ten days? I'll be out of here in two days. I cross my heart. And hope to die? <laughs> no, really, you don't have to go that far. We'd be glad to have you. Mom, why don't you go over and see Jane Preston? She's been dying to show you her new puppy. Ask me, there's a fine idea. Twenty dollars, it includes juice and coffee in the morning. No credit cards. Mr. Smith. Yes. I'll show him to his room. Thank you. Mr. Smith, you understand this for two days. Don't mean to be inhospitable, but that's the way it is. Out on the 26th. Of course. Thank you. everyone's out buying firecrackers, huh? My mother said we were booked. She didn't say everybody's arrived. We're just airing the rooms out. I'm sorry about my mother. We're not always so rude around here. She's been upset since my father got hurt. Doctors always make the worst patients. You have plenty of fresh towels in there, and if you need anything else, just let me know. I don't leave for work for over an hour. Well, let me guess, what are you, school teacher? <laughs> Cocktail waitress. Cocktail waitress? I bet there isn't even a bar in this town. <laughs> now, come on, no kidding, what do you do? I am the school teacher. <laughs> on summer vacation. No more school, no more books, no more teachers' dirty looks. Well, unless you go to the library. I sort of run it. Mm. You know, when I was growing up in the city, I used to dream of finding a town like this. New Hope's a good place. God's been kind to us. It's 
together forever. Hi. Well, you're looking better. Oh, I'm feeling better. Hey, listen, could you tell me where the church is? Out the door, make a left. It's about a ten-minute walk. Great, I'm sick of driving. Thank you. Mind, uh, mind me asking you something? No. Small town nosiness. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. What brings you to New Hope? Well, my father passed away yesterday. Oh, I'm very sorry. And, uh, well, he was from here, so I figured I'd arrange a little graveside ceremony for him. Something he wanted. Hmm. What was your father's name? Albert. Albert Smith. Doesn't ring a bell. You sure he was from here? Yes, sir, I'm sure. Well, thank you. Smith. Albert Smith. No, I'm afraid I can't remember him. There hasn't been a Smith in town for as long as I can recall. Funny, you'd think there'd be a Smith. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm the last of my line. About the ceremony, scattering ashes on the grave, that could be a problem. Historic church guidelines, not to mention local and state regulations... I assume you're a Christian. Oh, I, I believe in God. Still, reinterment is something we don't do. Uh, Reverend, um, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but um, it was a promise I made to my father as he was dying. I said we don't do that. But uh, let me bring up the matter with the town council and the church board. Hmm? Yeah, um, could you at least show me my mother's grave? If I can. What was her name? Sarah Lloyd. Thomas and Faith's girl. That was a long time ago. Here we are. She was very pretty, now that I remember. A good girl. Here I am. She was only 23? How did she die? Nobody ever told you? No. It was pneumonia. Pneumonia? She was an honor to the community. I remember the whole town turned out for the funeral. It poured. It was an awful day. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I have Sunday's sermon to prepare. Dr. Wasserman, it's, uh, it's Jason Smith. Mm, Albert's son, I remember. Uh, yes, look, I know you're busy, but there's something I need to know. Yes. Did my father ever tell you that my mother died from pneumonia? Pneumonia? No. No, your father suffered from delusions. But he was absolutely sure that her death was sudden and violent. Look, that's my other line. I'm sorry, I really have to go. No, doctor. It's work. How about getting the bus to Boston? Henry, you're 17 now. When your father died last June, you became head of the household. Besides, you could get stuck down there and miss the celebration. It's only a ball game. Well, then it's not much of a sacrifice, is it? You're needed here. How 
How'd you do with the Reverend? Well, there's sort of a small problem with scattering the ashes. He said he's got to talk to the town council. No. Maybe the mayor here can help you. Mayor Warner, this is Jason Smith. I sort of am the town council, son. I'm sorry to hear about your recent loss. Now, what is it that you need? Well, I brought my father's ashes to, to put on my mother's grave. You know, it was his last request, so. Sons and their fathers. Yeah. Tell you what, you just put in a written request to City Hall and I'll take care of the rest. Well, thank you. Thank you, I will. It was good meeting you, Mr. Warner. We're going to honor a man who disgraced us. Mister! Oh, hey, Henry. Hey. Um, I, w I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Yeah. Um, I heard you're leaving town tomorrow. Where did you hear that? Well, I wanted to know, uh, when you leave, uh, could I get a ride with you? Um, just forget I asked, okay? Just don't say nothing. I got an errand. Hello. Deputy. We gotta stop meeting like this. <laughs> how you doing? Uh, you know. No, I don't. That's how come I ask. You know, assuming can be dangerous, right? Yeah. Hey, does this town have a hall of records? I need to get some information. Uh, anything we got Chief Davis has over there in the office. Why? Well, there's some things a man needs to know. Like what? Like how his mother died? That was a long time ago. I don't think there's going to be that much information. You know, I think I'll ask anyway, because uh, I don't like to assume either. This might be a real dead end for you, sport. Well, don't you look as pretty as sunrise in Eden. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. You two hatching a plot? And is it about me? I know it should be. <laughs> well, I'm on my way to work. If you'd like to take a walk, I'd be glad to show you around our town. I got on my walking shoes. New Hope was founded 362 years ago. <laughs> world for mine, you know? We have crime, too. Press Rackley's oak tree fell on Mrs. Owen's fence in a windstorm. He won't pay. Told her to take it up with God. <laughs> New Hope's not a magic town. It's just one where everybody cares and believes and works hard to keep it this way. It's just, uh, so normal, you know? Well, if normal means nice. You know, if I'd have grown up here... You would be somebody different. <laughs> I guess so. Trust me. Well, this is it. <laughs> Looks kind of small. It's small, but it has a good selection. It's only open in the summer. Come on. Hey, what's the platform for the 4th of July? It's a little early, isn't it? We put it up the same time every year. Oh. Chief Davis will have the information you need. Great. Hey, thanks for the tour. Sure. Well, um, I guess I should get back to the library. <laughs> Did you see that line waiting to get in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ambrose, Roger, wife, Mary, two kids, 
all in good health. They'll be there. Apfer, this is Michael. Her husband passed on two years ago. No children. She'll be there. Get to the possible no shows, Hester. Watkins boy, maybe. And this will be his first year to draw. My mother thinks it's unfair, considering what happened to his father last year. Well, life isn't fair. It just is. Isn't that right? That's right. Well, how can we help you? Uh, I came to file a report to inter my father's ashes. The mayor said I should do it here. Well, are you sure your family from here in New Hope? Well, that's me, and uh, I'm here, so I'm sure. My mother was Sarah Lloyd. Faith Lloyd's daughter? Well, I don't remember her exactly. Well, she does. No, no, I was thinking of someone else. Well, we're pretty busy here, as you can see. Uh, you come back next week, I'll try to help you. I found it. It was in the grocery store. Back of the brand cereal. Grammar, she must be getting senile. Oh, excuse me. Who are you? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Thank you. Chief, why don't you let me take care of this? Hey, Henry. I'm beginning to see why you went out of this town. Get to go and won't. I want to go and can't. Said no. Didn't I? They ain't never gonna let any part of your father back in this town. What? Hey. The hell does that mean? As crazy as he was. slept much recently anyway. Turn out the lights, will you, honey? Sure. Tell Dad I love him. Where have you been? Gone, why? Question with a question, nice. I can't tell you where I've been. Have you been bad? I've been trying to get the truth. Tried to get it this afternoon from Chief Davis, but he brushed me off like everyone's doing. The truth about what? How my mother died. Everything about her, everything about my family, it's all been taken out of the files like we never existed. I mean, first they stonewalled me about my father, and now this. So you went into the files? Are you going to tell them? 
No. Why not? I don't know. You know, Felice, this is more than small town bureaucratic sludge. There's something wrong. I can feel it. That sounds paranoid. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're not out to get you. This is a good town, Jason. These are good people. Everything will work out in the end. It always does in New Hope. Thanks. For what? Oh, you know, for uh, being here. For not telling. And for, uh, for being here. Did I mention that one already? Good night. been some nightmare, son. How long have you been there? Long enough. What do you want? The question is, what do you want? And will you be satisfied when you get it? I don't want my father's remains resting with my mother and to know how she died. That's it. That's it. Those are the reports you were looking for last night. You know, I had a devil of a time sweeping up that glass. It all happened before I was chief. Your mother and father were out in a rowboat. Beautiful day and suddenly turned into a summer storm. The boat swamped. End of story. That's not what Reverend Hutchinson told me. We probably told you pneumonia. That's so he wouldn't have to tell you there are people in this town, maybe him included, who think your father might have done more than save himself. The Lloyds weren't too happy either. Her parents? Her mother and brother. They never forgave him. Well, now you know. If I can push your request through, bend the red tape, will you be satisfied? Yes. Good. Hey, guilty as charged. What's the sentence? A lunch picnic at Slater's Mill Pond. Have you seen it yet? No. Perfect. Noon. Oh, wait, I don't know where it is. Out pine and follow your nose. Okay. As soon as I see my grandmother. What? Yeah, how about that, huh? Well, who is she? Faith Lloyd. Our Faith Lloyd? I guess. Wow. So has Jason found his golden fleece? This fleece will do for now. See ya. Golden fleece. Mrs. Lloyd. Yes? 
I'm Jason. Jason Smith. Your grandson. Jason. I came a long way to find you. You're here. You must be the only person in a 10 mile radius who doesn't know. <laughs> you sound just like your father. <laughs> You better get in here, Jason Smith, and give your grandmother a hug. Oh. 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 Come in. I waited so long to see you. There's so many things I want to know. so many different things what's the truth Jason sometimes we have to accept things on faith your mother loved you your father loved you and they loved each other even beyond death this town talks of sacrifice but your father sacrificed his past, his family, everything for that love. What did he do? It was terrible. A terrible day. And we all took part in it. What the hell are you doing here? Are you crazy? Why do you let him in? I wanted to see him. What harm could there be in that? Albert betrayed us. And he betrayed this town. And this boy is his spawn. Get out! Take this and get out. Get out. Bobby Henson brought me here after the prom. Oh, yeah? How do you do? First base. And he had to steal that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he fumed and stomped around outside like they do. So I slid across the seat, started his car, and drove off without him. The next day at school, you would have thought I was Amelia Earhart or something. <laughs> Why didn't your parents want to rent me a room? I kind of had a fight with them about that. About you. It gets this way every year. This whole town is crazy. Prison company excluded, of course. I'm not crazy. And nobody tells me what to do. 
or who to see. This is New Hope. It's quiet. It's beautiful. Seething. How would you feel about living somewhere else? And leave New Hope? Yes. Well, Jason, I mean, my family's here. This is... This is where my life is. Maybe. <laughs> Oh my god. You just want your arms around me. I'm busted. <laughs> me too. Start carrying. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> We're all right, Jim. You sure? Looks pretty bad. Well, you must have been fairly close by. Are you all right, Felice? I am, Mr. Warner. It's just a scratch. What happened? Somebody blew up my car. That's what happened. Yeah, it couldn't have been that old 60s bolt bucket, huh, Chief? Had to be somebody. Couldn't have been a leaky carb or a cracked coil cap. I guess it had to be somebody. We were just down at the pond having some lunch. Yeah, what if we were standing next to it? Well, thank God you weren't, son. Thank God you weren't. The Chief and I will get at least back home so our father can look at that cop. Let's go, Chief. You want to stay here, sport. For what? You're going to drive Felice's car back, then we're going to fill out some paperwork on what's left of yours. It's not bad. I told you. This is what you get for seeing him. He saved my life, Dad. Whatever he did, I'm grateful. But outside this house, you stay away from him. Are we clear?
real shame about that car, lover boy. Just like your father. Shame about him, too. You know, I'm about this far from stomping a mud hole in you. Every man's got to deal with temptation in his own way, sport. What would you do, Jeb? Let me tell you something. This ain't the prom. And you don't get to see my dance card. But you really should get out of here while you got the chance. Shouldn't you? I mean, next time... I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, all I wanted to do when I came to this godforsaken town was to bury my father's ashes. But if I have to, I'll bury the whole damn town. You ride along with it, Dudley. Dance card and all. I'll be seeing you. Jason, uh, Felice told me what you did for her. Thank you. I, I don't really remember much. She does. Thanks. You're welcome. June 26th. Your last day. Last day? Here, in New Hope. You have the official okay to spread your father's ashes. And then head home. Oh, I will gladly hook a ride tonight. I tell you, this town... Seems unlucky for you. Rest in peace, son. Took a while, Pop. But you're here. Now you never have to worry about being cold again. You know, from the first time I saw her picture, I knew why you needed to be close to her. I just hope this is what you wanted. It's dust and ashes. I was gonna leave Mom's ring. You won't find it there. Grandmother? They're not his ashes. Probably not even human. What? They switched them. Who did? Any of them, all of them. This whole town. insane. I come out here every year, the night before the lottery, to visit my baby, your mother, his wife. She meant so much to all of us. What's, what's the lottery? Do you remember being there that day? I was there. He handed you to me, and then he rushed to her. He put his arms. Can you believe it? He put his arms around her in all that hell. They all thought that he had betrayed them. 
What, what was the betrayal? I mean, what happened? Listen to me. I saved you once by holding you. I can only save you now by letting go. One of the honored. There are so many. So many people in this town die on June 27. They folded my shirts right. You're not leaving, are you? No. What happens tomorrow? What if I took you? What? If you leave now, I'll go with you. We can start over, both of us. I I'm ready to do that. Felice, I know how you feel about New Hope and, and your family. You can't be serious. Mr. Jason Smith, I'm as serious as church. Now you wait here, I'll go get some things, and then you'll see. Yeah, but I, I didn't think that... I did. I won't be long. Police had a change of heart. Where is she? She's gone. Hey. Now so are you too. I'm putting you under protective custody. Jeff will drive into the city. What'd you do to her? No. The man's under arrest. Well, of course he is, Chief. I'd never interfere with police business. But keep him here. Why? I want him brought out for the ceremony. To be a part of the tradition. He's ours. Thank you. 
time. For what? The lottery. folks, but it's a great day, Reverend. Do you solemnly swear to conduct this lottery according to the rules laid down by our forefathers, the laws that have governed us since we came to these shores? I do. We all know as long as we have had the lottery, we've prospered. Life has been kind. God has rewarded us. Already, I'll read the names, heads of family first. The men will then come up the stage and take a paper from the box. Remember, keep the paper folded without looking at it until everyone has his turn. Once the family is chosen, We'll have the second drawing. Adams! John. Hello, Mayor. Bigelow. Chamberlain. Delmore. Davis. Just doing a fine job, Mayor. First rate. God bless. Love, love. Robinson, 
Simmons. Smith. Smith! character your mother had, and your father did not. That's my turn. Watkins! Be strong, Henry. Last ticket, Henry. Don't mean it's unlucky, just means it's the last. This day is about sacrifice. It's inscribed there on the bronze. Prosperity demands it. It's a part of who we are. It's time! Did I win or lose? No, not unless it can't be one of us. You didn't give her time enough to pick any paper she wanted. Elise. Not now. We're ready. It's the rules, Maggie. By all rights, your husband should have been the one. I said we're ready. Felice selects first, then Maggie. And don't open your papers till I say the word. Drawing was fair. your papers. Thank God it wasn't you. 
Ew. Let's finish quickly, people. Come on. and left to suffer. Let him go. We tried it your way and you were wrong. Now we'll do it my way. Men! Smith!
looking for these, Smith? Let's take a little ride. Nice and easy. It's gonna be you and me, sport. Tradition, Jason. It's not murder. It's not any more so than someone sacrificing their life at war. It's madness, Felice, and you are a part of it. Before you judge us, you should think of New Hope, you know? You should think of your world. Our world has no crime, no unemployment, no hunger. And no heart. Your world has illiteracy, murders, gang wars. You know, your cities don't work, your systems are dead. Who are you to be talking about heart? You just, uh... You got it all figured out, don't you? I didn't figure on you. I did what I did because I am who I am. I wish it were different. But it's not. Tell me what happened to my family. A long time ago, your mother drew the marked ballot. I wasn't born then, but I first heard the story when I started school because it was the only time it didn't go like it was supposed to. Your father ran to her, tried to shield her with his body. The people went crazy. He was nearly killed before they pulled him away so they could finish. That was years ago. And people in New Hope never speak his name. Albert Smith, they don't even say it. The rage is too great. It's not rage, Felice. It's shame.
mother's wedding ring. She must have had very small hands. Weapons on him. His body looks like it's taking a beating. No signs of drinking. And the wildest story you ever heard, including the murder of a cop. Real screwball. Screwball, slam dunk. Mr. Smith. Want to see a psychiatrist? Detective, would I come in here and tell you that I killed the policeman? Would I tell you any of this if it weren't true? I don't know. I had a guy come in here a couple years ago, sat right in that chair, confessed to killing Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Tomorrow, I'll take you back to New Hope, and I'll prove the whole thing. But you know, the thing is, you won't believe it. You see, because it's now, and it happened. If he's telling the truth, it's your case. Wait, wait. Chief, you know this man? Well, yes. He came into New Hope last week, a couple of days back. Kind of a weird boy. No offense, son. Had an urn with him. Said he wanted to bury it beside his mother. We had no record of who his mother is. He's lying. Mr. Smith. He's lying. Be quiet. Now... Fella shows up on a little town like this, you know, and says his father just died. We're inclined to try to help him. He swears he murdered one of your officers. I've only got one. His name's Jeb Simmons, Lieutenant Simmons. Has to see him. See you around. I'll try to find him. Jeff, come in here. We're low tech. What's up, Chief? Well, well, the prodigal son. Are you feeling better? This the man you killed? He thought his mother was from here. She was, and you know it. And since his father died, we felt inclined to help him. He stayed for a few days, tried to find out about her, and then left. We thought he was a very nice young man. Felice. Tell them the truth. I thought you were nice, but, um, I didn't know him all that well. I'm sorry. Please, please. Tell them what happened to your mother. My mother passed away yesterday of a stroke. She died in my father's arms.
Miss Dunbar, I'm sorry we disturbed you. And we're very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Smith. I'll show you a tombstone. Yeah, right. They're all dead on June 27th. Watch I'll show you my head. mother's tombstone. They're all June 27th. You tell me what are the odds of that, huh? <laughs> Jason, I'm Dr. Wasserman, remember? What's this you've been up to? Do you want to tell me about it? Never tell that man the truth. <laughs>